Hi, I'm Jake. Today, we're going to be using FL Studio 12 to make your vocals sound like the professionals. We're going to be using the Parametric EQ2 and the Fruity Limiter to give you that professional quality sound. Give it up for my man, Flames the Kid. I'm in a room full of stars, homies on the ground, they be trying to reach us, but we trying to reach Mars, trying to reach God, see I got a dream jet, others got a dream car, I ain't trying to shout at yours, I'm just saying I dream far. So we're sending it to channel 50, notice these peaks right here, we're going to get rid of those peaks and get a lot more of a consistent output level, and that's going to give us a great vocal. I'm in a room full of stars, homies on the ground, they be trying to reach us, but we trying to reach Mars, trying to reach God, see I got a dream jet, others got a dream car, I ain't trying to shout at yours, I'm just saying I dream far. If you were watching the output monitor, you noticed that we were pushing out anywhere to negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, but we want to make it more consistent. So we're going to start out using a parametric EQ2. We're going to put a low pass in on the seventh spot and this is going to be a steep low pass so notice how it can affect your vocal I'm in a room full of stars homies on the ground they be trying to reach us but we trying to reach Mars trying to reach God see I got a dream jet others got a dream car I ain't trying to shout at yours I'm just saying I dream far what we're gonna do is leave it around 13,000 for the male voice and it could be different on every voice. Just trust your ear. We're also going to put a high pass in on the first spot. It's also going to be a steep eight to get rid of any low frequencies. Trying to reach God, see I got a dream jet. Others got a dream car. I ain't trying to shout at yours. I'm just saying I dream for. For. So we're going to leave this around 85. Now this is our basic EQ. Now that we've done our basic EQ. Let's use the Fruity Limiter to add some compression. Go ahead and pull up the Fruity Limiter and switch it to compression mode. Now I'll be honest, when I first started producing, I thought compression was garbage. I didn't believe in it, but that was a young me. So what compression does is gives you a more level and even sound. It's a consistent sound in your audio. So for this particular audio, I'm going to use the threshold at around negative 20 decibels. And you can see that blue line is cutting through pretty much all of the audio that's coming out. So my ratio is going to go up to about 3 to 1, which is a good compression. I'm in a room full of stars, homies on the ground, they be trying to reach us, but we trying to reach Mars, trying to reach God, see I got a dream jet, others got a dream car, I ain't trying to shout at yours, I'm just saying I dream far. Now you see we have a more consistent volume, we can check our output, and you can see that it's a lot flatter, there's not like mountains in the audio, as you could say. I'm in a room full of stars, homies on the ground, they be trying to reach us, but we trying to reach Mars, trying to reach God, see I got a dream jet, others got a dream car, I ain't trying to shout at yours, I'm just saying I dream far. We're going to add back some of the volume that we lost while compressing, so we're going to turn our gain up just a little bit, enough to get us back to where we started. So now we're at a very consistent level with our audio. Let's go ahead and add another EQ. Now this one is going to be much more specific and detailed than the first. I'm in a room full of stars, homies on the ground, they be trying to reach us, but we trying to reach Mars, trying to reach God, see I got a dream jet, others got a dream car, I ain't trying to shout at yours, I'm just saying I dream far. I did that to show you how much you can distort your audio if you go too major on these adjustments. So I'm going to roll off my end of the vocal and then I'm going to pull up at around 9,000 hertz. What this is going to do is make the vocal much more clear. It's going to add clarity to your voice. You can use these knobs down here and you can make it a tighter pull or you can make it wider. Listen to your audio and you'll know what to do. 
Let's go ahead and get rid of all these bass frequencies. Four. I'm in a room full of stars, homies on the ground, they be trying to reach us, but we trying to reach Mars, trying to reach God, see I got a dream jet, others got a dream car, I ain't trying to shout at yours, I'm just saying I dream far. So that's sweeping, and you can sweep through the frequencies, and if you hear something you don't like, go ahead and pull down around that frequency. And you can widen the pull, or tighten it if you want. Just trust your ear. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the warmth on the back end just a little bit. And by that, I mean I'm just going to put a little additive EQ on the back. Since I took down right there. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a limiter on the audio. And this will be the final step. Go ahead and switch to compression mode and we're going to use a limiting ratio which is 10 to 1. So once we set that ratio we're going to bring our threshold to just the tip top of our audio just to kind of cut off any extras and give us the smoothest audio that we can get. It'll be at a nice consistent level and just make it so much easier once we go to add in reverbs and delays and any other special effects. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and take a listen to our song. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm in a room full of stars, homies on the ground, they be trying to reach us, but we trying to reach Mars, trying to reach God, see I got a dream jet, others got a dream car, I ain't trying to shout at yours, I'm just saying I dream far, for a man that don't sleep, I swear I dream hard.